Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sarah. We are doing some breakfast meal prep today. I haven't done this for years and years, probably like eight years. And we're gonna make a whole bunch of breakfast for the whole month, just trying something new. My first time doing this, I'm sure you'll see things that I could have done better. That's okay, it's gonna, Feel it's gonna help. Feel about it in the comments. I have a child, <laughs> I have a child here who needs a bathing suit on. Um, Belle's helping me to get started and I'm not sure that I'll get it all done in one day, but we'll see. We'll just keep plugging at it. Cause it's a month worth of breakfast for my 10 children. It's a lot. Belle is getting things started for me. She's watching, what are you watching? I'm watching Newsies. Newsies? And uh, she's going to make- I need the actual eggs. <laughs> she's gonna make breakfast burritos. Which is great. Look at this new butter dish I found at Walmart. Oh, it holds four sticks, that's what's important. We got these pounds of sausage. I have not done this for years, but she was reading that we're gonna wrap them in foil. A lot of people do that, so we'll try to do 12 per breakfast. Maybe we can lay some more out here. Do you think 12 will be enough? Yeah, some of the little ones will probably just have half of a burrito. That should be enough. She's not listening to me. <laughs> So we're going for one pound of sausage and 12 eggs and see if we get about 15. 12? 12, 15. Is, um, I think we'll get 15. Eggs. It's, no, it's 18 eggs. 18 eggs, oh, we'll get a lot more. Because there's milk and cheese in there too. We'll see. Okay, here's batch one. I forgot to drain the sausage before putting the eggs in. Oh. <laughs> We're kind of tucking the sides in and then rolling it. It's aluminium. Is that, and that, how, and that how, uh, I thought that was like a, the British way to say it. Like aluminium. How do we say it, Val? <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> Homeschool problems. No, seriously, do you know? Yeah, aluminum. <laughs> okay. Uh, Belle has abandoned me. She just took the dog out. But um, I'm just working through these. I got all those eggs in to 15. I could have probably done 16. They're very full. Oh, Belle's back. It's kind of quiet here. I mean, not quiet, it's never quiet. But the kids are all playing and having fun. My babies are sleeping. I actually don't mind cooking when it's not like a deadline. <laughs> I think I'm gonna turn some HGTV on. We are in the middle of a two week break from school. We kind of do school six weeks on, two weeks off, that routine. And I just really wanted to prioritize rest and fun and also getting some projects done. But rest and rest first, having fun with the kids and, and then the projects. So this is one of the projects, but one way for me to, I did rest a little bit before this and one way for me to have fun is to make it more fun by doing what Belle did. She watched the Newsies. What'd you watch? Mom, have you never watched Newsies before? I'm not watching Newsies. I don't, I don't, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna watch HGTV. <laughs> uh, but yes, like, she's like me. We'd rather watch something or listen to a podcast yeah, while we're even working. Though, even though you don't, you watch HGTV. I do. Like... We usually just have worship music going here, but we always have to turn it off for you guys, for the camera. But um, I'm gonna watch something here. Get some home inspiration while I'm cooking. I don't like how much foil this is gonna use. I'm trying to figure out how to cut it to use the least amount. I have not gotten a chance to turn the TV on yet. I hear a baby up. <laughs> That's real life. I'm gonna pack these burritos up in this tortilla bag. And I got 15 here, we'll try that. I found out it was two pounds of meat, so Belle said could have used more eggs, but she couldn't fit them in the pan. So two pounds of sausage, 18 eggs. We'll run out of sausage for the last batch and we can do bacon bits maybe. Talked to another one into helping me for a minute. <laughs> and now Judah too. <laughs> it's an assembly line. I'm wrapping and foiling and packing. <laughs> Got them cooking. Okay, I have 38 so far. The last couple batches I've done with bacon bits instead of sausage and just finishing it off here. I'm gonna do one more batch. How many eggs are I? I think I have 12 eggs in here. Well, I'll mix it with bacon bits. Here's a bunch of them packed up. 
The nice thing about wrapping them individually is that after the first week, we'll kind of know how many we need. So I'll just put the appropriate amount in the fridge the night before to thaw them, and then we'll unwrap them, put them in the microwave for one to two minutes, should be good. The kids can add salsa, ketchup, hot sauce, whatever they choose to them. So it'll be easy breakfast. I was hoping I could make 60, but it really does take some time. I've been interrupted a lot of times. Hopefully all of this work will be worth it. I'm gonna have to give you an update maybe at the end of the month or next month. If I decide to do it again, you'll know it was worth it. It does take some time. So I think I'll just do this one and then clean up all the mess we made and tomorrow maybe work on the next breakfast. When you have a lot of kids, everything you do in the kitchen takes a lot more time because if you had maybe 45 burritos in the freezer and you have two or four kids, they may last you and you're just doing them once a week. They're gonna last you months maybe. Um, for me, 45 is hopefully gonna last me one breakfast a week for four weeks, hopefully. <laughs> Big difference there. That's why I haven't prepped breakfast for eight years. I used to do it all the time. All the time. We never made waffles that I didn't double or triple it and put a bunch in the freezer and make egg burritos and do all these things. But then I just kept having more and more kids. And it took a whole lot longer just to feed them that one time. I thought my garage was open. That's right. It was a total of 46 burritos, they're, I filled them full. I want these kids to be full if they're gonna eat a burrito. And uh, 46 burritos, and I think I counted 68 eggs is what we used. Four pounds of sausage, and then, I don't know, some, I did baking crumbles in like three batches too, so just dump some in. Yeah, here they are. Okay, it is evening here. Our big kids went to youth group. Everybody else is ready for bed. Kind of. Still haven't finished Tori's braids. <laughs> okay, like, we're gonna do another breakfast thing here. I can't find more of these jars. I've looked in the stores the last few weeks. They're just hard to find right now, probably because it's canning season and everybody's going crazy with growing their own food and canning it. But we have some big jars, so I'll save these for my bigger kids. We're gonna make some overnight oats quick. Haven't done this for a while. Actually, I'm gonna use half a cup of oats, half a cup of milk, at least in these, and one tablespoon of sweetener. I think we'll do maple syrup. Then I'll ask the kids if they if there's room left in the jar. There should be a little. If we they want to add some frozen fruit, peanut butter, that kind of thing. And we're gonna make some overnight oats, and we're gonna try to do this once a week. It's a little work at night, but it will make breakfast quick and easy in the morning. And it's not something we're freezing, obviously. These girls are helping me. They're stirring their overnight oats. There's plenty of room for, oh no, don't eat it. It's for tomorrow. <laughs> it's half a cup of oats, half a cup of milk. Next, I'm giving everyone a tablespoon of maple syrup to stir in. That doesn't smell good. It doesn't. They each marked on their jars. We just use a dry erase marker because it wipes right off the glass. And they each made their own blend. Another day, another breakfast. Today we're making breakfast cookies and I'm starting out with two cups of mashed banana. That's what you're looking at. Took five bananas to get two cups. I'm combining that banana with one cup of almond butter. Now that I combined that well, I'm adding two cups of oats. I use old fashioned oats. No, oh, don't eat that yet, yeah, Des. Not yet. Two teaspoons of vanilla. One fourth teaspoon of salt. I mix that together and it tastes amazing. It doesn't really need any more sugar, but you can add some sugar or coconut sugar or a little maple syrup. You can replace the banana with applesauce, and if you use applesauce, you might need some sweetener added, but when I tasted it, it's fine, and I'm adding a little chocolate chips. I'm gonna add a big handful of that, so they definitely don't need the sugar, or maybe two handfuls. And I'm gonna add some raisins. Not a fan of raisins myself, so that will help ensure that I don't eat these cookies. <laughs> I thought about adding some shredded coconut, but a lot of my kids aren't fans of coconut shredded, so I think we'll skip it this time. And now we're gonna bake them. I have greased baking sheets, and I'm gonna cook these, or bake them, at 350, probably 15 minutes. I did nice big cookies, so we'll see. 
I had some dough left even, so I probably could have put those cookies a little closer together to fit them all on. They just came out after 10 minutes. I'm gonna, no, 15 minutes, but I'm gonna let them cool about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna really pay attention to how many my kids eat to get full, so I know how many batches to make. I already have a second batch going in here. Made them a little smaller and a little closer together. Um, but the first batch made of these huge cookies, it made 22. Yeah, I'm not sure if I need three or four batches of them. We'll see here. Because I'm wanting to freeze them and have enough for one breakfast once a week. Four breakfast total. Okay, they're still coming out. It looks like one batch per breakfast would be pretty good for us. So we may have a little extra. This is what's left so far. I think I have two kids that haven't eaten at all yet. And some are going to take another one still. So... I think I'm making them a little smaller. I think it's about 24 cookies, normal size cookies. I asked my oldest, Judah, if he could uh, be full after two cookies, and he said, yes, I think so. It's the most filling cookie I've ever eaten. So <laughs> this is a good one, I think. Pretty easy to make, especially just one batch. It's fast. And it was baby approved. Did you like it? Yeah, he loved it. By the way, I ran out of almond butter and had to do peanut butter for the last batch and it turned out great. They taste a little different, of course, um, but the consistency is good and yeah, I think they taste really good and they're about half the price this way too. <laughs> they're cheaper. An update on the cookies. We froze them on these trays for just supposed to be a couple hours. Then we forgot about them for two days. <laughs> and now we're bagging them up. 24 in a bag because that's about what we ate and they won't stick together because they were frozen this way. We'll leave one bag out the night before we're gonna eat them. Today's make-ahead breakfast that I'm doing is pancakes. So I'm making some for this morning and I've just got it all lined up here with measuring cups so it's really easy. I did one batch already, it's in the oven and I'll just show you how I do pancakes. I think, I got, I got competing voices here, but I think I do um, a fairly healthy pancake for the kids and we're gonna freeze them and they freeze well. I start with four eggs and I beat them until they're fluffy. It doesn't take long. Then we throw in four cups of whole wheat flour, then three cups of milk. Next I take coconut sugar and I do four tablespoons. Coconut sugar is just a little better for them, I think, than white sugar, brown sugar. Then the next thing I do is I put eight tablespoons of coconut oil in a mug. It's usually hard around here because it's only real soft when it's real warm. And then I'm gonna microwave it for 30 seconds and add that in, so eight tablespoons. Okay, I microwaved it just 30 seconds just to make it pourable. And then I do a third cup of baking powder. I'm gonna add a little more because I didn't quite have that full. And finally, one teaspoon of salt. Now I'll mix this together. And that didn't take much either. The easiest of the easiest is to line two trays with, these are just cookie sheet trays that I use. I lined them with parchment paper and I even sprayed the parchment paper a little. It just makes it super easy. And I'm gonna divide my batter between the two trays. I bake them at 425 and I put both trays in at once. These coming out I forgot to put on parchment paper. But I put them on two different shelves, 10 minutes, and then I switch them. So move one to the top and the top one to the bottom. And now I'm gonna stick these in 10 minutes and then I'll do another 10 after I switch them. So that's how they turn out. We just cut them with a pizza cutter and after they're cooled, they uh, can freeze well in Ziploc bags. I'm making this recipe four times because these two trays are one batch. Feeds my 10 children for one breakfast. We tried it once with white flour they were not full, it didn't feed them, but the brown flour, the whole wheat flour is more filling and so it works out well. So we'll just do this four times. Please ignore my just worked out face and hair and all that, but uh, I think that's it for what I'm gonna show you for what we're prepping for breakfast. I was going to do quiches too, but we don't have enough eggs. I still have some eggs, but not enough to do all of that. 
And so I think we'll just do fresh eggs once a week. So I have the breakfast burritos, the cookies, the pancakes, we'll do overnight oats. I'm, I'm going to make a couple batches of granola. And I, I've showed you that so many times. So I won't show you that on camera. And then we do bagels once a week. Yeah, I think that's seven breakfasts. If you count the granola I'm gonna make and the overnight oats and the eggs. This will hopefully make breakfast time simpler and cleaner and all that stuff just go faster so hope this was helpful to you and we will see you next time bye <laughs>